In this video, you will learn how to build a simple monostable circuit using a triple five timer IC on breadboard. These are the components which you need for this experiment. I'm going to use a breadboard, one LED, one 330 ohm resistor to limit the current across the LED, two 10 kilo ohm resistors, triple five timer IC, our main component, push button switch, some jumper wires, and I'm going to power the circuit with nine volts. So let's get started. Let's begin the project by inserting the triple five timer IC to the breadboard. And as you can see, the triple five timer IC has eight pins. If you see this notch over here, the pin under it is going to re represent our first pin, then second, third, and fourth pin. Up over here, we have pin five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm gonna connect the first pin to ground. And pin four and eight to the power rail. I'm going to use the red jumper wires to indicate the power connection and the orange ones for the ground. Let's use our 10 kilo ohm resistor and connect it to the pin 2 of the IC and to the positive rail of the breadboard. Now I'm going to extend my second pin, second pin of the IC using this jumper wire and let's grab our push button switch and connect to the second pin of the IC the other side of the push button switch I'm going to connect it to ground using my orange jumper wire Connect pin 6 and 7 of the IC to each other. And let's grab our 100 microfarad capacitor. The longer pin is going to be the anode and the shorter one is cathode. I'm going to connect the anode of the capacitor to pin 6 and cathode to the ground. Let's grab the other 10 kilo ohm resistor and let's connect it to, to pin 7 of the IC and to the positive rail of the breadboard. Let's extend the third pin of the IC which is our output pin and let's grab our LED and let's connect the anode of the LED to third pin of the IC and I'm going to ground the LED using my 330 ohm resistor the resistor is going to limit the current so that the LED is not going to be damaged. We are pretty much done with the setup and wiring of the circuit. Last thing we need to do is to connect the power supply to the breadboard. I have 9 volts coming into the circuit. And let's test it. So as you can see the LED is blinking in a weird way. There is a reason behind this, so I will disconnect my power supply for a while. And let's have a look at the rails of the breadboard. So on the upper side, we have connections on the ground as well as on power rail. On the lower side, we have connections on the positive rail as well as the negative rail of the breadboard. So this means that the rails of the breadboard must be connected to each other so I will grab my jumper wire and will connect the positive rail of the breadboard. In this case, whenever I connect the power supply to the positive rail, this power supply will automatic automatically support the power rail on the upper side and to the lower side, since the rails of the breadboard are connected to each other. I will do the same for the ground. I will connect the 
negative rails of the <coughs> sorry negative rails of the breadboard to each other and now we are good to go so let's test our circuit whenever the push button switch whenever I press the push button switch the LED must turn on and it it's it is going to turn off after a few seconds so let's test it now let's figure out how our mono stable circuit works so in the beginning the discharge pin of the triple five timer ic pin 7 is connected to ground so it's in a lower state this allows the capacitor to charge through the resistor our 10 kilo ohm resistor until it reaches a threshold voltage once the capacitor reaches this voltage the output of the triple five timer IC pin 3 flips to low state which then turns off the LED since pin 3 is also in low state the capacitor then starts discharging through the discharge pin pin 7 but the discharge pin is connected to power using our resistor so it takes longer to discharge compared to charging this determines the duration of our yellow LED which it stays on before turning off now we can make, a, make the project a little bit interesting I'm gonna disconnect my under microfarad capacitor and let's add a bigger capacitor 470 microfarad capacitor to pin 6 and to ground and let's test how the circuit works So as we have expected, if we connect a larger capacitor, it will take longer to charge and discharge, resulting in a longer duration for which the LED remains on and off. So basically increasing the capacitance increases the time constant of the RC, of the RC circuit formed by the capacitor and the resistor. So we can summarize that the capacitor will take longer to charge through the resistor resulting in a longer time for the LED to turn on after the switch is pressed now let's grab another capacitor now 1000 microfarad so we're going to increasing the RC time constant and the LED is going to remain on, remain on for a longer period of time so let's test it The idea was correct, LED is stayed on longer than before. We can also calculate the RC time constant. So we are using 1000 microfarad capacitor. Multiplied by the resistor value which is 10 kilo ohm. So 10 times 10 to the power of 3 and now we have to get 10 seconds. So it takes 10 seconds for the LED to stay on so it has to take 10 seconds on the clock so I'm gonna do it simultaneously I'm gonna press the push button switch and I'm gonna start the clock so let's test it so as you can see approximately 10 seconds and the circuit works perfectly that was the whole idea with our mono stable circuit using triple five timer IC on breadboard. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. You can also find more than 60 breadboard projects on Electromin, so do not miss those videos. Thanks and have a good day.